What's up? This is Alex Chu coming at you with another episode. This episode, I don't know. I don't know what I should talk about. Maybe I should talk about I don't know, being single and living with a sex doll or something. I don't know. Ah, <sighs> really ran out of subject to talk about. Yeah, I know I could talk about like I don't know Donald Trump or protests. It's not still not ending, but I don't know. Anyway, just want to tell you, before I talk about the sex dolls, okay, I want to tell you, my name is Alex Chu, I'm the guy who invented physical mortality rings. These are rings that you put on your small fingers during sleep, you, you wait until you don't age anymore, you become physically immortal. For example, in within half a year, I'll be 50 year old. I still look pretty good, right? Still look pretty good, you know, and, you know, I got, see, very, very skinny, right? I don't work out, you can see my belly is really smooth. Anyway, I have lots of good reviews on Amazon, okay, customer reviews. Most of them give me four stars, five stars. If you want to stay physically young forever, you want to look like me when you're 50, livemuchlonger.com. Livemuchlonger.com. Go buy a pair of these rings. Link is at the bottom of this website. <clears throat> Recently, I watch a lot of videos, right? Lots of Japanese videos. A lot of Japanese girls are complaining. Right now, there's a lot of... a. Uh, there's a, a group of people in Japan, they're, you know, they're MGTOWs, okay? And MGTOW, they call it Soshoke. These group of men, they, they, don't, uh, they don't really date girls anymore. They just stay home. They play games, play video games, you know, and they, a lot of them, they just, uh, they don't even work full-time jobs anymore. They just, they just work part-time job. See, back in the days, everybody has a full-time job, right? In Japan, you have to work like six days a week, right? Right now, a lot of a lot of Japanese young men, they're getting smarter. They only work like three days a week, you know? And then uh, they save all their the rest of their energy, stay home, play video games, go online. They don't date anymore. No duh. I, I, I understand how they feel. Because I mean if you could you could, if you could just buy a sex doll, right? And a sex doll is they're really cheap. They're from China nowadays. They're like <coughs> <clears throat> They're like what six hundred some dollars, seven hundred some dollars shipped to your door, especially it's when it's made in China. You know, see back in the days when sex dolls were made in made of silicon, they're from the United States. They were very expensive. They're like five thousand to six thousand dollars, and now everybody can buy a sex doll with five hundred and six hundred dollars shipped to your door, and you know they have all the. Now, now I heard that they have new options like jelly breasts, you know. They, they used to have like hollow breasts, and jelly breasts is even more more realistic. But it's, it weighs a little more, it weighs a little more, you know. And then they have like, you can, back in the days, the shoulder cannot bend, right. Now the sex dolls, you could bend the shoulder, it has shoulder blade. It has like movable shoulder blade. You could bend, bend the shoulder. The, the, the hand could go all the way like this. Fucking incredible, man. They have lots of new new features. They have like hand bones. They have they have articulated finger bones. Stuff like that, you know. It's incredible, man. And I don't I can't really tell the difference. I mean, except my my sex dolls are kind of code. Like maybe later on I buy a new newer model that you can heat up the body from inside out. All, the the sex doll maker, all they have to do is put in electric coil inside the body, right? And you can heat the doll from inside out. Um, then it it becomes more realistic, you know. But I don't see the difference between a woman and a sex doll, you know. If if you if you only want if you want to if you only want a woman for sex, I don't see what's the difference, you know. I tell you what's the difference. The difference is it, it's a lot more quiet. You don't have people nagging at you all the time, you know. See, back in the days, I had pretty girlfriends and I have ugly girlfriends, right? Pretty girlfriend is like she's always she always thinks that you're not good enough. She always wants to she always wants to dump you, she, or she threatens to dump you and look for somebody else. If you have a wife, she would do the same thing. She would say, "What what did I marry you for?" You know, I want you to. Be a man. I want you to go out there and look for a better job and stuff like that. And you don't, you don't, you know, you don't heap her war warning. She, she'll she dump you. She'll take half of your house, half of your 401k, you know, take your savings. Maybe take your, 
take your children and and look go look for her real man. You know, so I never got married, so I don't have to go through that. You know, but and and when you have an ugly girlfriend, what happened is she's always jealous. She's always suspicious. You know, she's like you hang out with your buddy. She when you come back home, all she does is bury you with questions. You know, questions after question. Oh, who do you who did you go out with? How come you and your your friend you guys are? How come you guys are so close? Are you guys gays? You know. It's like ugly girls, she's always very suspicious. And then she's like, sometimes, you know, they will follow you. They 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 will fucking follow you around. They they would drive you drive around to follow you and shit, you know. Or I have I have a girl like you know, stop her car, you know, like drive drive to my, my house and just basically sleep it sleep inside her car, right in front of my house. I know she's there. I, I mean I can see it, you know. But stuff like that, it's just very annoying. You know, when, when you have ugly girls, she's very jealous and so she's always very suspicious. If you have a hot girl, you know, she just want to dump you. She just want to dump, dump you and look for a richer man. So it's like, that's the reason why I think sex doll is the best. Because sex dolls, she's not jealous. She doesn't have any feelings. She doesn't give a shit. See, my sex doll don't care if I buy another sex doll, right? I have a white sex doll, I buy myself a black sex doll, I buy myself an Asian doll. She doesn't care. I could buy many, many heads. I don't like your head, you know, during sex. Oh, I don't like your head. Switch her head, put on another head. She doesn't care. I don't like your wig. Pull out her wig, put on the another wig. She doesn't care. But when you're when you're having sex with a real girl, you can't do that, right? You cannot tell her that, hey, listen, I don't like your hair. You know, I want you to put on a wig. You know, she she doesn't you can't do stuff like that, right? And then sex doll, she never gets, never gets fat, never grow old, you know. So, as long as you take care of it, you know, after you finish using it, you bend her back to the rig normal position and put it on the floor. See the Chinese TPE doll, right? You could just lie, you you could just lay her on the floor. And then she, you, wow, she'll she'll keep her. You can she you can maintain her like that for ten years, twenty years, thirty years. And doll will never break, you know? It, it'll never change shape. As long as you, after finish using, just bend all, all her legs straight and just lay her on the floor, you know? So, I don't know, man. I see why a lot of, especially Japanese men, Korean men, oh, Korean girls are really mean, you know? I see why the Korean men are abandoning women. They just buy sex dolls. Japanese too, you know? They just fucking, because it's like, I don't see why if you if you especially nowadays there's microwave right there's a lot of instant noodles you don't need someone to cook for you you know that's bullshit you don't need you don't need someone to wash your clothes because there's laundry machine right so what do you want what do you want a woman at home for right if the woman grows old and ugly she becomes jealous she becomes very suspicious you know ask you a whole bunch of bullshit questions all the time you know and then if a woman is too hot for you, then she's also always threatening you, always, you know, threatening you, telling you that you're not good enough. You don't do this, you don't do that, she's going to leave you. Ah, fuck all that. And I just say, you know what, leave, go ahead. I just, I got myself a plastic sex doll. I don't care. But anyway, uh, leave a comment, you know, tell me what you think. Uh, I guess I... See you guys in the next episode.